My name is Dr. Ken Abriola, and I am a primary care and infectious disease specialist. My practice is in Glastonbury, Connecticut. Um, I've been in practice for 20 years. Hard to believe I'm that old. Um, but uh, I am actually pretty much uh, locally grown. I uh, was born and raised in Connecticut, did my undergraduate at Boston College. Then I came back to University of Connecticut to go to medical school residency at St. Francis Hospital. And then um, I left for a little while again. My fellowship was at Tulane University in New Orleans. Infectious disease came out of an interest in public health, in social justice, in global health interests. I started going to Haiti as a volunteer way back when I was in Boston College. And I was just overwhelmed by the need there. So uh, I went back several more times. And as I was going through my medical training, I really kind of thought the best way I could help an underserved population like that was to learn more about infectious disease. So that's where I started to focus. And in fact, um, Tulane uh, was particularly appealing to me because what I was able to do there was not just a general infectious disease fellowship, but actually a master's in public health and tropical medicine. So I could really get to focus on, on learning about tropical medicine. Now you'll say, how much tropical medicine do you see in southern Connecticut, doctor, or southern New England? But um, I apply that in my practice of travel medicine. Um, and when I was doing my fellowship training between 1990, uh, um, I finished in 1991, you couldn't help but learn about HIV and AIDS. And really, that has become my subspecialty within infectious disease. Um, about a third of my practice is HIV care. Uh, before I opened my private practice in Glastonbury, I was working for um, Hartford Hospital in their HIV program, and I was doing 100% HIV and AIDS work. Um, and that's actually part of the reason I chose to go into private practice. I wanted to diversify. Um, I was doing just so much of one thing, and, and I thought I could offer more. And uh, that was part of the reason for taking that leap. And, um, you know, was to go to work every day and see a variety of different things from just doing the primary care and helping people focus on wellness to actually sitting down with somebody and solving a problem um, related to an infectious disease or a suspected infectious disease. Very rewarding. So I really hope that when you come to my office, number one, you feel comfortable. Um, we try to make a welcoming environment. Um, I don't want people to feel rushed there. I want someone to feel like when they left that he really listened to me and he's trying to understand my concerns and my problems. I, I should comment that, you know, um, I'm still one of those doctors who does both office work and hospital work. Uh, my hospital work is largely in a consultative mode, um, doing infectious disease for both Rockville Hospital and Manchester Memorial Hospital. And what I have to tell you um, that I like so much about working in this environment is that these are small sized community hospitals. And most of the time, whether it's in the afternoon or the evening shift, I know the person who's called me on the phone and they're talking to me about whichever patient they have a question or a concern about. And knowing that person and, and their judgment and their concerns, um, I feel like I can do that much better a job in taking care of the persons that I'm involved in. It's not a big city, your little fish in, in a giant ocean kind of feeling that you can get with a large tertiary um, institution. When I reflect on, you know, why I do internal medicine and why I do infectious disease, um, I like the excitement of solving a problem. And uh, no matter what kind of a background that problem comes from, uh, 
there's always unique things that you can do for a person uh, to make their experience a, a good one. And uh, that just makes the day. It's, there's nothing better than walking out of a room and going, yes, I got it.